Adventures Day. Well, good day. This is working with multiple sheets. And here I have a workbook, and it's got five sheets that I made. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll zoom on there so you can see them pretty good. Can you tell that I'm on 2009 right now? And I'll click over here, and can you tell I'm on 2011 right now? That's a little different. It's kind of subtle, but you can sort of tell. I'm on 2010 right now. That's the tab I'm on. Let's say I want to change the color of this tab. You know you could change the color of the tabs. You can give it a right click and change the tab color. Maybe we'll make this one uh, red. And then uh, it doesn't look too red, does it? But if you click off of it, you can see that it's quite red. When you click on it, maybe the color isn't that good. So when you click off of it, you can see it's pretty red. Let's go do the other one. We'll change this one to red. Good. Let's go change this one to red. Good. Let's go change this one to red. Isn't this boring? It's boring to watch this, huh? Change this one to red. I know, this one is just the, the boring one here. Okay, I changed them all to red. Yeah, so what? So they're red. So what? Well, you know, I wonder if you could have highlighted them all at once and changed them all at the same time. Yes, you can. So, start on the one that's all the way on the left, this one. Hold down the Shift key. Hold down the Shift key and click the last one. Now can you see that they're all highlighted? Well, maybe you can sort of tell they're all highlighted. Give it a right click, change the tab color, and maybe we'll change it to uh, maybe this dark green. You can say, well, how does that look? Oh, I can see they're all green. So what, Mr. Lushenko? So you can highlight them, and they all can be the same color. So what? Well, the idea of highlighting many tabs at once is going to be very useful if you want to type the same thing on all the tabs. For instance, on 2009, I want to type freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. And then when I get to 2010, I want to type the same thing. Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. And then when I get on 2011, I want to type the same thing. Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. And then I just want to keep doing that. So you can type on all sheets at the same time if you select all sheets at the same time. So you click the first one, hold down the shift key, click the last one. Now I've got them all highlighted. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to type freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. And I'll even do this. I'll make it very wide. So I have them all highlighted. I made it very wide. I'm going to click on one of them. It doesn't matter which one. Here's 2009. They're all done. Here's 2010. They're all done. Here's 2011. They're all done. They're all done. They're all done. Hey, I did them all. You can highlight multiple tabs. Now somebody's going to say, well, what if you don't want them all? What if you only want some of them? What if you want only 2009 and 2011 and 2013? Shift is not going to work because Shift will highlight everything in between. Choose the first one. What if I click this one and I hold down Shift? If I hold down Shift, it'll do everything in between from where you are to where you're going. I'll hold down the Shift. Now I've highlighted three and two are not highlighted. If you hold down the Shift, you'll do all the ones that are in between. But if you want to do just any old one, you can hold down the control. Hold down control and click this one, and then hold down control and click this one. That way I can select things that are not adjacent. Well, that's about all there is to it. A winter's day.